Make your way into a kneeling position, coming into our pigeon pose, bringing your right foot in towards your groin, pointing the toes, fingers at the side of the hips, square your pelvis to the front of the mat, lift up way below the belly button on the lower pelvic floor, point those toes, brace the abs and walk the hands forward, holding at the bottom for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, keep the abs in, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, brace your abs, walk it back, inhale, prepare, pull the core in, lift up way below the belly button, plug the shoulders down, Exhale, walking those hands forward, holding at the bottom for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, brace the abs, inhale, walk it back up, push back onto both knees, switch your front foot, bringing the left foot now in towards the groin, pointing the toes, lifting way up below the belly button on the lower pelvic floor, plug the shoulders down, widen the collarbone, lift the chin, and let's walk forward, holding at the bottom with the core lifted, pointing the toes for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, brace your abs, walk the hands back, inhale, plug the shoulders down, widen the collarbone, soften the sternum in towards the back body, brace your abs and walk it forward, holding for 20. 19, 18, keep breathing, 17, 16, breathe way below the belly button, lifting in and up on the lower pelvic floor, I'll skip ahead since I was speaking, to 12, 11, hang in there, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, brace your abs, walk it back, we're going to set up on our backs for some abdominal work. Start with your legs extended out, hip distance apart, toes pointed, tuck your pelvis, flattening your low back into the floor. Hands heavy at your side, shoulders plugged down, mid back and upper back pressing into the floor. With that puppy dog tuck in the low back flat into the floor, lift your right leg up so it hovers two to three inches from the floor. Keep the hips square, no twisting, holding for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lower it down, other side, don't twist the hips, keep them square, 20, 19, 18, low back flat against the floor, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reinitiate the tuck of the pelvis, flatten that low back into the floor. Take the right leg back up, hold. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Retuck the pelvis. Soften the breastbone towards the back body. Plug your shoulders down. Lift your chin. Pointed toes. Remember the legs only hovering a couple of inches off the floor. Take it up. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Bring that right leg up just for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower it down. Last time on the left for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it lowers from here. Let's place the feet on the ground, knees pointing up to the ceiling, hip distance apart. Send the pelvis up for a glute bridge. Hold, inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale, slowly peeling down upper back, mid back to tailbone, floating the arms overhead, plug the shoulders down, the inhale. Turn the head right and left, right and left. Recenter the head, inhale. Bring your legs up to tabletop, pointing the toes, knees track right over the hips, legs hip distance apart, push the hands into the thighs and the thighs into the hands, crunching up, hold for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one lower down brace the abs hands heavy on the floor send the hips up into your glute bridge two breaths here inhale one breathe exhale one chin lifted plug the shoulders down inhale two lift up way below the belly button on the lower pelvic floor peeling down upper back mid back to tailbone brace the abs inhale the arms overhead turn your head right and left right and left right and left inhale prepare pull the arms back down by your side make sure your pelvis is tucked and your low back is completely flat against the floor as you float the legs to tabletop hip distance apart toes pointed hands to thighs push the thighs into the hands and the hands into the thighs crunching up lift your chin engage the front of the neck 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 seven six five four three two one lowering down brace the abs send the hips up inhale one breathe exhale one inhale two exhale two peeling down upper back mid back to tailbone float the arms overhead plug the shoulders down inhale turn the chin right and left right and left right and left one more time right and left inhale the arms up roll off to one side coming up to a seated position sitting up nice and tall inhale prepare with the hands behind the head leaning the head back into the hands legs can be hip distance apart or together if you have near back issues i would keep them hip distance apart with the low belly braced, we're going to tuck the pelvis under like a scared puppy, rounding halfway back. Lean the head back into the hammock of the hands, elbows open to the side, counting you down. 20, 19, stay still, isometric hold. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one inhale back up to your tall spine brace your abs exhale tuck the pelvis rounding back down hold it halfway back 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one inhale sitting up tall fold over the legs for a second inhale one breathe and exhale one inhale two exhale two inhale three brace your abs roll back up to that tall spine let the inner thighs pull back tuck the pelvis lift up way below the belly button with the navel pulled in towards the spine rolling halfway back head in the hammock of the hands 20 19 18 17 16 15 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one. Inhale back up to your tall spine, folding over those legs. Externally rotate the legs from the top of the hip sockets, toes pointed. Three breaths here. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Scoop the belly in towards the spine. Inhale two. Soften the facial muscles. Exhale two. Inhale three, brace your abs, rounding up slowly to that tall spine. Great job. Let's come to a standing position. We'll bring our backs against the, against the wall in a nice wall cactus position, feet hip distance apart. Take a moment to imprint your tailbone, your mid-back and your upper back against the wall. That includes your wrists, the backs of your arms and hands. Soften the breastbone and sternum and front body inward towards the back ribs, heavying the back ribs against the wall. Breathe here. 20, 19, and make the goal, I'm keeping track of the time, make the goal the imprint. How heavy can you make your back body, tailbone, mid-back, upper back, back of the head and arms against the wall? From here, walk the feet forward a foot into what looks like a penguin position, heels together, Heels are together, toes are fist distance apart, and you'll bring your arms down by your side and keeping the tailbone connected to the wall, just round the upper body forward. Inhale, prepare, bracing your abs, pulling them in towards your spine, circle the arms out, pendulum style. Let gravity take over as they circle out, two, three, four. Inhale, pause the movement, brace your abs. Again, exhale, initiate the circle out of the arms from the top of the shoulder sockets, two, three, four, Inhale, brace the abs, and exhale, round yourself back up. You can separate the feet, hip distance. Bring your arms back into that wall cactus, holding for 20, imprinting 19, 18, 17. Keep going. I'm keeping track of time. Tailbone, mid-back, upper back, backs of the arms imprinting. Soften the front ribs in to meet the back ribs. Press the back ribs heavy into the wall, keeping the collarbone wide, the chin lifted, the gaze soft. Counting you down, two and one. From here, we're going to make our way into a kneeling position. If you have sensitive knees, feel free to roll up the mat you're using or grab a pillow, cushion, or towel to roll up to put under your sensitive knee. You can also do this in a standing position by the wall. So I'll show both variations. Standing will look like this. By a wall, just in case you lose your balance, kneeling is going to look like this. So I'll do it kneeling, but feel free to do it standing if you'd like. Kneeling position, we'll take choir hands, right leg forward, brace your abs, back of the foot and shin is down. Exhale, side bending, pulling out on those arms, holding for 20, 19. You can turn the chin up. I'm keeping track of time or down on the diagonal. Collarbone is wide. Shoulder blades are pulling together. Chin is lifted. Even if you're turning it down or up on the diagonal, the chin is lifted. Brace your abs, bring yourself back up to center. Inhale, plug the shoulders down, belly in, lift up way below the belly button on the lower pelvic floor. Side bend again, hold for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, good, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Brace your abs. Step that right leg back and let's switch sides. Whatever side you were on, switch sides. And you can also switch the hand that's on top. Feel a little different as you pull out. S coming to a nice tall spine. Make sure there's no forward leaning here. Pull the shoulder blades together. Soften the front ribs towards the back ribs. Plug the shoulders down. Lift your chin. Pull out on those arms as you take a side bend with a little upper back extension, being mindful to not push the rib cage out. Holding 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brace your abs, bring yourself back to center, plug your shoulders down, pull the belly in, lift up way below the belly button on the lower pelvic floor, side bending, last one, 20, 19, pull out on those arms, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one. Making your way into a forearm plank, legs hip distance apart, long as a board, no booty in the air like this. Keep it long, keep it tight, abs in. Really lift up way below the belly button on the pelvic floor. Plug the shoulders down, pull out on those arms, lower the knees down, push back into a child's pose. Hold here, inhale one, breathe, exhale one. Inhale two, exhale two. Inhale three, exhale, bring it forward on the forearms, push down and out with the forearms, legs hip distance apart, deep lift to the low belly, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, hang in there, you got this, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lower the knees, push yourself back, brace your abs, even when you're in child's pose, breathe here, inhale 1, exhale 1, going to 3, inhale 2, let the pelvis pull down towards the heels, exhale, let the inner thighs pull back to the bottom of the mat. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. Exhale, inner thighs pull back. Final forearm plank here. Bring the forearms down, step back, brace the abs, hold 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brace your abs. Sit back into that child's pose. Hold it here. Inhale one. Breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale. Pelvis grounds down. Exhale. Inner thighs pull you deeper into the pose. Inhale. Find your way onto all fours, hands and knees. Round the spine, gazing through the legs. Exhale. Arch. Cow pose. Inhale. Round into cat pose. Exhale. Arch. Cow pose. Inhale, round. Exhale, arch. Inhale, round. Exhale, find a neutral pelvis. In our neutral pelvis, I'd like you to bring your right leg into a donkey kick position. Instead of dorsiflex toes, I want you to point the toes, trying to bring the heel into the butt without hiking the hip or losing the squareness of your pelvis. Micro bend in the elbows of the arms. Plug the shoulders down, lift the chin up. Just breathing and holding here for five, four, three, two. Lower the lifted leg down, lift the opposite leg up. Square the hips to the floor. Those bony protrusions should be shining like headlights to the floor. Pull the navel in towards the spine. Lift way up below the belly button on the lower abs. Imagine my hands hovering from your shoulder blades. Puff your shoulder blades up to them. All you're doing is creating that right angle and then trying to bring the heel towards the butt, pointing the toes in a hamstring curl. Lower that leg down, switch sides again. Bring that right leg up, pointed toes, square the pelvis. Focus on the back strength here, puffing the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling, engaging the serratus, your shoulder blade anchor, collarbone wide. Hold five more seconds, four, three, two, one. One, lower that leg down, final time, left leg comes up, square the pelvis, neutralize it, stay lifted through your lower abs, micro bend in the elbows, chin up, involve the front of the neck where you're underactive, relax the front ribs in towards the back body, puff the back body up towards the ceiling, plugging the shoulders down, lower that leg down. From here, we're going to rise up on our knees for thigh stretch. Make sure your shins and tops of the feet are on the floor. Inhale, prepare. Give me choir arms. They look like this. Start with your dominant arm on the top and the non-dominant on the bottom like so. I'm left-handed. My left's on top. I'm going to inhale, prepare, tuck my booty under like a scared puppy and hinge back, creating a diagonal for my knees out through the crown of my head. Hold it here. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale back up to center. Release the arms. Switch the top hand. Brace the abs. Tuck the booty under. Belly in towards the spine. Lift way up below the belly button on the lower pelvic floor. Hinging back. Hold 20, 19, 
18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale back up. Come onto hands and knees. Go ahead and round your back and arch. Inhale to round. Exhale to arch. One more. Inhale, round. And exhale, arch. Great job. Come to lie on your back for some bridging. Feet hip distance apart, hands heavy at your side. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, go ahead and send the hips up. Now, if you have knee sensitivity, this is your posture. You're just going to hold it. And you're going to keep your belly in. If you start to feel any back discomfort, make sure you're actively pulling in and up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee with your navel in towards your spine. Now, if you do not have knee or back sensitivity, go ahead and extend your right leg out. Hold it out. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to lower the shin, extend the other shin. Don't take those, the pelvis down yet. Stay lifted through your core. Left shin goes out. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brace your abs way below the belly button. Lift in and up. Peeling down upper back. Mid back to tailbone. Hug your shins in, rock side to side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put the feet back down, hip distance apart and parallel, hands heavy at your side, shoulders plugged down, soften the breastbone in towards the back body, brace your abs, Lift in and up to send those hips up. Stay in your two-legged bridge if you have knee or back sensitivity. If not, extend your right shin out, holding 20, 19, 18, 17. I'm keeping track of the time. Make sure your hips aren't twisting, drooping. The thighs are the same height. The toes of the extended leg are pointed. Hang in there. Deep lift way below the belly button on the lower pelvic floor. Five, four, three, two. Keep the hips up. Just lower that shin. Extending your left out, hold it out. I've got your 20 second count. I'm keeping track of it. Make sure your hips are square, no twisting, no hiking, toes pointed of the extended leg, thighs the same height, counting you down. Stay up five, four, three, two, lower the shin, and then with the belly in, lift up way below the belly button on the pelvic floor to peel your vertebrae down, placing each vertebra on the ground from the top of your spine all the way down to your tailbone. Once the tailbone's down, abs in, hug your shins in, rock forward and back, all the way up to a seated position, folding over those legs, parallel legs, toes pointed, breathe with me here, inhale one, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two, inhale three, exhale three, Round yourself up to a tall spine. Pull back on the inner thighs towards the bottom of your mat behind you, sitting up on the top of your sits bones. From the bony protrusions of your hips, externally rotate those legs from the top of the hip sockets, pointed toes. Inhale, prepare, brace your abs, and exhale, fold over those legs. Breathe with me here. Inhale one. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three, rounding up slowly. We're going to make our way onto our stomachs. Lying on our stomachs, we'll put our forearms down, elbows right under our shoulders, pushing the forearms down and out into the mat to engage our scapular stabilizers. Watch out for the belly dumping out on the floor. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Lift in and up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Single leg kicks here with pointed toes. Kick, kick, and switch. Kick, kick and switch. Kick, kick, and switch. Keep going. What I want you to watch out for here is the pelvis rocking back and forth. Keep your pelvis square and still. No rocking or shifting. 
Lift way up below the belly button on the low abs. Widen your collarbone. Soften your gaze ahead and make sure it's a little higher than eye level. Keep breathing with me here. Join me on this tempo. Inhale. Exhale. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. Keep alternating. Every time one leg kicks, make sure you're actively not sitting into the hip of the leg that's kicking, that you're staying lifted through both sides of your abdomen, way below the belly button. Finish up. Last one. And we're going to make our way up to stand for some deadlifts by the wall. In level one, we did half range of motion. I'd like you to try for full range of motion without a death grip on the wall. So you have one hand on the wall, the other hand is going to reach this time for your toes. Now there's a lot of different, diff, different opinions about the standing leg and locking it out versus a little bend. I always say a little bend is a little safer for your joints. So try to not deeply bend and squat in the leg, your standing leg, but keep a micro bend so we don't shift into any pronation, rolling in on the feet. Let's begin. One hand on the wall, the other hand is reaching for your leg that's farthest away. Toes as you reach down. Think about sticking your butt back like you were trying to close your fridge with your butt. And as you stick your butt back, the other leg lifts. And if there's energy through the leg that's lifting, just keep going as I'm, I'm giving you some things to think about then the leg that's lifted will not be added weight. So you do have to reach through that leg, point the toes, and it's helpful if you think about those bony protrusions on your hips shining like headlights to the floor. If they stay pointing down to the floor evenly, you're going to recruit the glutes and the lower abs more effectively and efficiently. Finish up the one you're on, brace your abs, and make your way to the second side. So our progression eventually will be doing this in the center. So I don't want you so reliant on the wall. Try to test yourself using the fingertips and then also watching out for that supporting leg knee, leg's knee. What is happening? Are you locking out in it? Can you really stay lifted through your center? Really pull the core in and up to help support the movement. Riding the breath. I like to exhale down, inhale up, but I can do it either way as long as my abdomen is firing and initiating the movement. Never do we want to push the belly out because that puts excessive pressure on our back. And with lordosis, we already have weak abs and glutes and hamstrings and extension in the back. So our back is susceptible to injury if we don't work on that core strength. Finish up the one you're on. And we're going to make our way to the floor for a well-deserved stretch. So lying on our stomachs for a prone quad stretch. I want you to kick your right heel to your butt. Hold it here. Other hand can be right under your forehead as a little pillow. Push the bony protrusions of the hips into the floor, squaring that pelvis off. Lift up way below the belly button on the low abs. Soften your sternum. Really think about how even your hips are and try to square off and keep the bony protrusions of your hips heavy on the floor. Go ahead and switch the leg and the arm that's grabbing, switching the arms, hold 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Switch again. Back to the first side. Brace the abs, square the hips, push the bony protrusions of the hips into the floor. Lift the low belly in and up. Collarbone wide. Good. Ten more seconds here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release that. Go back to the left. Brace the abs. Hold 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one. Great job.